like it's the whole OJ thing, isn't it? <coughs> yeah. Or someone, thank you. Or someone's looking, or we're looking for like damn again, to an extent. But I just think, cool man, we get it. Like, it's like music isn't here anymore. Yeah, I feel that that is kind of mad because then, do you just become like irrelevant? Like? But this, this I. I don't think you become irrelevant. You just have to find, and this is where you have to pay respect to certain rappers who Jay comes to mind first and Nas mm. come to mind <clears throat> and maybe yeah, to an extent, different mm. time, but you have to respect that they've managed to stay relevant for so oh, yeah, long. Yeah, yeah. Mm, I'm not yeah. saying Kendrick isn't just because of this album, mm-hmm. but it's not as easy as people think it is. But this is my this is my only kind of counter, if you like. Because if he brought sorry, Rich, so if he brought out to Pimper Butterfly, let's say part two, but named it different, mm. I'm not listening to that as long as I listen nah. to this album. Like no way. And you can't, you couldn't tell me the message. This is sick. Like production, blah. Like no, we're not. The music isn't here anymore. We've slightly moved on. It's not to say your ear can't still um, entertain. Older, not older sounds, but things that you're used to from certain artists. I but think that this has happened with all the artists that we name. Like mm. most of their best music is behind them, or their their styles. I wouldn't even say it's changed that much, but the music they're making now clearly isn't what it is then. Can't compare to yeah. yeah. And no, we're, no, I think no, we're, no, we're no, always going to have yeah, that, yeah, like yeah, that yeah, longing for, sure. for the oh, old so thing. Think Kendrick might be at that place now. I think no. I think even like Coles say maybe last two releases yeah they're not what for me like what was before like uh, friday night season. lights made me K- feel kod good. yeah kod and, and um forest hill drive before that forest hill drive i know he had even we're forgetting one what's the uh for, for your, your eyes only, only. Exactly. oh yeah just yeah, yeah. for the share fact that we've missed it yeah, yeah. So tells so you so that the music has yeah. changed so and forest hill drive was good that was that's a classic album. Yeah, for me, yeah, yeah. That, Good Kid, Mad City, and My Twisted Dark Fantasy, for me, were yeah. the best between mm-hmm. the 10s and the yeah, 20s. Yeah, yeah. Best three albums. Um, but yeah, I think I think their music has changed there. But do you know what I also think? Yeah. Um, it's a video one. Yeah, we're recording. Oh, go on. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, is your airs should change as well. If you're growing as a person, your air should change as well. As an artist or consumer? As a listener, a listener. consumer, a uh, reader, whatever you want to call mm. it. Um, do you know who comes bare to mind? And I think this is why some men are rating Nas more now as adults. Mm-hmm. Because okay. that shit, in a way, Nas, I feel like Nas' thing hasn't changed, but yeah, it was so yeah, it was Nas. so far yeah, ahead of... Yeah, Nas yeah, talking to yeah. eight-year-old me. Yeah. yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, he, yeah I feel yeah. like he's almost... Uh, Michael, like that. He's in his second, second childhood. He's, like, he's at that same level. Yeah, he's... Yeah. um. He's still in that place, but we've grown up and now certain things a man has said are hitting us. Yeah, yeah. but and even with Nas though, I think it is, there is a difference in the way it's delivered now. Definitely, but it should, should it not? Yeah, 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 yeah. So in, in a way, I say that to say, and this is kind of outside of ranking the albums, but we can't, we shouldn't expect what we got. From we, Kendrick? We, just from anybody. Okay, right, 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 right. We, we, we're not supposed, like, we, I mean, we do. Mm-hmm. And we hope, oh yeah, he yeah. makes this part two, and yeah, that's yeah. never gonna happen. Like we need yeah. to kind of get Jay-Z out of your mind. Say that in it, he's like, what people oh, watch it, but more yeah. albums kind of yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a funny one, but I do think I told you, look, I thought it would grow. I want to mm-hmm. see if anyone's opinions change in a week. Mm-hmm. I said it, but well, I said it in the group yesterday that I rated it a five on the last pod, and now you're at six point five. That's quite a bit. It's quite a bit of growth yeah, in, in a yeah. week. Dan? I, did, I did a few more. Sessions. I thought, I thought Dan's going to be like twenty plus percent. Yeah, <laughs> Dan's exactly. going to say point five. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm. I like it. Well, you get better seven. I think it was around that. It was a, a well. We can't do the Kevin Satin. Yeah, Kevin Satin <laughs> says don't ever give a seven. Mm. Um, it was about a seven. I'd say it's probably a low seven point three. Seven okay. five, about point five. I'm still not point two five. I, I'm going to be honest. I'm still not that like, crazy. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah. the tunes that I like on there. Um, they they definitely connect, yeah. but I just don't think I'll probably listen to it like fully all the way through all mm. eighteen tracks. No. Like no, I no, can't no. see. It. No, it is a bit much. Whereas as well. like a Pusha T's thing, for instance, that gets yeah, regular. Like, that's getting mm. the, the spin, or mm. even like a Benny the Butcher. Yeah, like their things. I just listen from first track all the way through. Yeah. Loop it. Hendrix thing. I'm just like ah, I don't know. But mm. maybe that time will come. But um, I'm not mad at the album, um, but no. I, def- I still think that it fell short somewhat because of the pedestal that he's on. Yeah, yeah. I feel like that about the top artists though as well. There's my, oh, it's no. mainly my point. Like, 
all the last releases, Ye's release, uh, Drake's release, Cole's release. Mm -hmm. I feel Cole's like they, release. I feel like they're all under the radar, fall yeah. short of our expectations. Massive Before off-season fall short. Of my expectations, yeah. yes. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was good. Yeah. But I felt, did it fall short of my expectations? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you seen um what Kendrick's been up to this week? Releases the album after. Oh yeah, he's in what Ghana playing like FIFA. Yeah, with, just like, chilling. Some... Just I chilling see that. Ghana. I like, I like, that. like seeing and that. Stuff, shit. Yeah, yeah, I like that. seeing that shit. Yeah, yeah. I, I think um some people might see it as uh, I don't know a stunt, but I, I don't I don't see it as that. I think like someone like him that there's a purity and like, mm. authenticity yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. to what they do. Um, and I saw a tweet. Someone was like, "I just pray that he's got like a camera with him, so he's vlogging like." Because I'd love to see, see, yeah, like a behind the scenes, yeah, 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 yeah. for the Kendrick doc mm -hmm. at some point. Yeah. Um, mm. But yeah, I saw that and I couldn't help but smile. Like, it was, yeah, I like seeing that, that shit. Cool. Yeah. But again, I can see why. I feel like when you're a star in any field, mm -hmm. everything you do is going to be looked at as a stunt. Some people, yeah, the cynics are yeah. going to be, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think, and yeah, with him, it's like I think it's super genuine. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. And I, I think again. And then this leads to the next thing. Um, it just goes to show where he's at in his life. Like you release an album, everyone's going mad about it. Mm, You're not I'm, jumping on Breakfast Club. Geez, You're not yeah. going on this show, that show. Motherland. Like, yeah. I'm just busting out. Mm. I'm gone. I'm yeah. gone. I'll see you lot in a bit. Well, you got that from Cole when you went to play Pro Bar. In Rwanda. Yeah, yeah, Rwanda. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, That's yeah, bare yeah, funny. Yeah. Like. Uh -huh. yeah. And I think even after that, we, I, think, I think I've seen Kendrick do, I think Big Boy... In the neighborhood or whatever his thing mm -hmm. is called, um, mm -hmm. I think he's doing it live on his YouTube. Uh, but I don't think I ever saw Cole do any interviews after. Really, they're at that point where yeah, they, they don't yeah. need to do yeah, the, yeah, yeah. Mm. the 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 tour, um, the press run. Um, but then again, yeah, that leads to the sales. Did you see the sale numbers? No, I'm but you lot first, you lot mentioned week. it. First week sales, he must um, be like Billboard number one or whatever. No, I w at least in rap, the rap category, surely. Possibly, it's got to be like the most clearly. Think, yeah. Like, if I'm going oh, up the Twitter mentions, default, default, it's the most yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. talked about. Almost by default, candle. Mm. Um, Kendrick Lamar sold two hundred eighty-six thousand first week uh, with Big, uh, sorry, with Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers. Uh, for comparison, Drake did six hundred thirteen thousand. Kanye three hundred nine thousand. J Cole two hundred eighty-eight thousand. Lil Uzi Vert two hundred eighty-eight thousand. First week. First week, yeah. Um, yeah, and people are debating um, if these lot are really goats uh, when you look at their numbers. It, it's the times different, man. The numbers. I I love to know what those if they're physical sales. I assume they would be. Uh, no, it would be a that, certain be a stream will count yeah, for yeah. a certain amount of um, yeah, yeah, yeah. counts to a play or a, a sell. Um, I don't think we should be determining goats by album sales. No, no, not, Period. not one bit. Yeah, no. I, I don't see the debate as such. I think it's just like a, a stick. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a, an yeah, agenda. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm not even surprised. To be fair, he didn't really release a single in the run up to it. I'm surprised. Hot Park came out what a week before. Yeah, Hot, Hot Park came out the yeah. Sunday maybe or the Monday, and it came out. And Friday, it came out yeah. Friday. Yeah. Um, not surprised. Rich. I'm not surprised. Um, I think everybody's numbers are falling off. For the oh, most 100%. part, like that's the industry now, so that's not a surprise to me. Drake was what six hundred thousand, mm. mm. but Drake's uh, like right. So I think Drake's level, if we're minus the goat conversation, I think numbers wise, I think the numbers make sense to me. Yeah, he's a, he's a pop yeah. star, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. yeah, I think he's well Kendrick well. kind of is or kind of was <laughs> though as well. I feel like, oh, in terms of rappers, I mean, Drake is more than a rapper, in it? I think that's yeah, why, yeah. and his numbers reflect that. But in terms of top rappers mm -hmm. that aren't like Jay, basically, and Ye, mm -hmm. it's got to be Drake and Kendrick, no? Yeah. Like, I think us like stars and have a lot of like commercial or mainstream success as well. Mm. From the newer generation. Because like, you got the yeah. Wayne's of the world. Like okay, yeah, of course, of course, of course. Wayne's thing's mad, you know. When I free it, like <laughs> it's actually mad. Bookie, bookie. Um, a, a, the whole star, but I just a different kind of mm, mm. Um But yeah, I don't think the numbers are a surprise one, and I don't think they say too much. No. Um, and yeah, if we're looking at numbers alone, then we're yeah, we're, we're struggling. Um, yeah. But yeah, it's good to revisit it a week later. Um, 
Will there be a revisit next week? No, no chance. Oh, he's just saying out of rotation. No, it's not happening. No, yeah, yeah. Let's get oh, him out. Play, of play wise. Will you be playing it this week? I guess it's basically my question. Um, <laughs> hand picking. Hand picking. Yeah. I got, I got yeah, follow up yeah, question yeah. as well. Yeah, 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 probably hand picking a select few. Um, I wouldn't be playing the album. I think I can't remember what. There was one day in the week where I was just like in bed, I had my headphones in, I was just playing the album. Mm-hmm. I won't. Yeah, I won't be. I've not played it. Not through that, yeah. from start to finish for a while mm. um, but to your point Rich and you said this last week um, that the, the album split into this one and this mm. two yeah. <clears throat> you definitely hear the difference mm-hmm. in the two parts mm-hmm. um, and I, I think you're right I think what I pre- think I prefer one one is more, more I think two is a bit depressing the one's a bit more upbeat yeah. and, but yeah, he's, yeah, yeah. he is like he's really rapping in part two uh, Chris yeah. was saying I was like yeah he's borrowing in part two Yeah, yeah, yeah but yeah. it's sombre Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah, so I think yeah, I think I like the rap part in two, mm. this two, but I think I prefer the songs. It's yeah, a smoother listen in the first yeah, half, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I think again, it's it depends, obviously, but I think the long album thing needs to stop. Get out of it because you're now starting to see where things go amiss. So now we're getting like songs and skits and like. This cut is it. for the algorithm, it. though, isn't cut it? it out. Cut it out. They're doing it to increase uh, their spins I, I get it, and rotation. I get, the, and I get the game and I get the play and I understand it. But I think, like Pusha T, for example, two albums back to back, both under fifty minutes. Like, but it's like I like grade, it. I appreciate it. Grade a, a music. You can play that ten like, album track yeah. ten times. Yeah, Push, you, Push has got a lot of spin out of me. Mm-hmm. Um, all these like recent, I say recent drops, they've like, been quite short, a while apart. But... Concise, like to the point. Mm. Like Donda as well, like have 20 something, whatever it too was. Much. Way too long. Too much. So yeah. I, for me anyway, and I've, I've said this for a while now, like short albums, like that's the play because I think you can whittle it down to the good songs that you'd think. Um, and it's just more quality control I that feel. as well more importantly yeah. you get i think you get more quality i think when you get 18 15 18 20 tracks 22 then they release the deluxe the deluxe with an extra just six, got like yeah, yeah, the yeah, same remix. song already but uh-huh. someone else's verse is on it verse money bag your verse on there <laughs> <laughs> the baby verse yeah, sounds yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. and i'm like That's mm, fair, like what like yeah we don't it's a throwback don't really though, need it? It. like the class some of the class well the classic albums have skits like the stories i like skits I the good skits. kid mad city like that story like the, it is like a classic but maybe it's just a sign of the times um that attention spans and but then uh, there is also the quality side of it i think yeah the more cutthroat you are the the, yeah the higher your progress. your average you'll have a higher average mm. if you put less in it i don't know if you actually answered the question les will, will you be spinning it in two weeks well in a week this week um probably not then you kind of said kind it's of not no chance maybe one or two tunes yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. So my, I'm not listening yeah. To the whole thing is... my follow-up question was yeah. does anything get longer than two weeks spin these days Good question, and I'll probably say no. I think the, probably what I've spun the most is like Benny the Butcher and like um, Conway the Machine, like their mm. things. Like I'll go back to Griselda that. too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, even Future's thing, I ain't really gone back. Well, I haven't that. even downloaded it. But yeah, I think that's another right. long It's that one. kind of position, mm. Rich, where things don't get. I, yeah. don't, I can't see me loading up an album <coughs> front mm. to back for like four weeks in a row. No chance. <laughs> You'd be lucky if you get more it's than tough. a fortnight. Yeah. It's mad, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. That's, That's where we're at. That's where we're at. Yeah. Nice. And I think, depending on how you consume music, I think a lot of music comes out quite frequently now. Oh, yeah. Massively so. so Which means comes out. Or which is released. Yeah, yeah. Um, So you want to listen to, mm-hmm. I guess, the latest album or the latest, mm-hmm. uh, whatever the, what's it, EP or whatever the short play yeah. or whatever it's called yeah playlist whatever um you want to listen to that so then you're probably going to leave something for a bit but i think now i think i think you get to a certain if you like love music and you've been listening to it for years mm-hmm. you think you get to a stage and i think we might be approaching that mm-hmm. where you just want to listen to the shit that you like yeah it don't matter yeah. if it's There's- kendrick's album cole's new album drake's new album yay's new album jay's releasing yeah, this like yeah. whatever like if it's cold that's great. Mm-hmm. I'm listening to it. If it ain't, 
I'm gonna play it. I don't. Yeah, I'm there's not, no FOMO. I'm there's not, there's I'm, not really any I'm FOMO with it. I'm not obliged. I'm yeah, 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 yeah. Like Jake, like um, uh, Jake Harlow. Jack like, Harlow. Oh, Jack, yeah. whatever the fuck Let's his name. Let's give some respect to his name. <laughs> Jake <laughs> Harlow. Harlow. Killed him. Um, Disrespectful. I like. I like him. Mm. He can rap. I like hearing him rap. I think he's cold, but I'm not. Like, I think Dre was playing his album in the car, and I was like, "This sounds okay." Mm-hmm. I ain't spun it personally. Mm-hmm. And I'm not going to. Mm-hmm. Like, um, I just know when I hear it, I ain't gonna take to not it. Not connecting. So, I might. I might give it a spin. That's time. This is that... his debut album, isn't it? A second. But uh, this like is he's yeah, yeah yeah. Um, I might give it a spin just for that. I mean, I've only heard him on like commercial joints, and he, he can rap. Yeah, oh, he, he can. There's no doubt he can rap. So. I'll give him a, I'll give him a I chance. Him on, there's a freestyle he's got on Flex. You you reposted no. on Twitter. Smokes it. No. No, he no. doesn't he doesn't not smoke it. The beat choice over, is just it's over um it's just horrible. Pharrell's Oh shit, what's the tune, Rich? I can't remember the beat now, but I just do dun 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 What tune is that? You got it like that. I think it is that. I feel like it's not that, but it's, it's, a, it's uh, that kind of beat. I think uh, it is that it's beat. Like, it's bare like quick. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah. Oh, like you can't. Yeah, the pockets are a bit it's of a mad. Oh, it's mad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The pockets. It's mad. He's got, he's got it's trap. Mad. You know, like, <laughs> you know, when you get the fake pockets in a manhole. It's mad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, On a blazer. Oh, you can't so actually do it. It's mad. like. But he t- oh, shit. He, he manages to. to, to he doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't. He can rap. You catch. He survives. But. Like there's, it was there's, like you know, there's pockets. There's, there's like a five like, fingers of death thing. <laughs> 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 so yeah, they give point. you the awful beat and so see what you're made of. Yeah, there's like pockets and there's like just like missing a pocket, but you kind of can't revive. Yeah, mm. yeah, so it kind of yeah. sounds like it's, but it's yeah. As God. a whole, it's not. Did you see the uh, uproar about him um, referring to? I think it was Brandy as Ray J's sister. Oh yeah, he didn't know, innit? Yeah, 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 really, yeah, yeah. Really know. Brandon. Oh, he didn't know she had a career and yeah, Moesha and was, all of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think because Ray J's. Sister. But how old is he though? He's young. I think he's born in like not two thousand ninety eight or something yeah, like that's that. That's mad. And he's from I forgot where he's from, like Kentucky or something like that. And people were saying yeah, like, if you are in hip hop, you need to know the history. What do we think of that? Like, I think that's like... You're right, Dan. The tune is kind of have it like that. Oh, okay. so yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, I'm going to send it to you. I'll send you the link. <laughs> yeah, it's mad. Oh, no. And people like, he ate. Like, yeah, this is cold. <laughs> I was like, I don't know, man. Mm. I, like, it just, it just didn't hit. And it's all right. That's okay. Hit. But I said... He done well. I mm. think I can't remember what tweet, but I was like, the beat's like a horrible yeah. beat it's to tough, spit on. It's, yeah. it's mm. not a good beat mm. to spit on. Like it's, Cole, and like Flex the best MCs will probably would have a hard time. Mm. Why has he mm. chosen that beat? Like, Flex killed. Yeah, they've, Flex they've killed just, him just it's, it's, yeah, it's bad. Um, yeah, should Jack Harlow know R and B singers because he raps? <sighs> that whole you should know this is for the most part. I think it's kind of cap. I think it's massive. Like. I mean, and people are uh, doing it to be offended, and then you can also level uh, appropriation. And yes, yeah, like yeah, yeah. there's yeah, that's what I was gonna get to. Yeah. In his case, I'm sure Shows there's the young black rappers who who don't know, don't know like they come out and say Brandy that shit and Monica. With, yeah. The thing is, like, if it, I reckon it's a thing where, like, he'll if you play the tunes, he'll know the tunes and that. Yeah, he just yeah, don't yeah, know yeah. the. He hasn't matched the face to it. He never oh, yeah. grew up on the box. He never. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, nah, man, I'm saying cap. It's like it's 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 yeah. reachy. It's yes. reachy. I think it's, that's what it is. Yeah. And it's a way we can kind of just yeah. as old elder statesmen now, mm. we can just like say, Oh, them man, they're shit. Like mm. they don't even mm. they don't even pay respect to the yeah. thing, they're disrespectful. Mm. And just mm. Bearman really couldn't that. point out like Africa Bombata and that. Nope. <laughs> <Yeah>. No. <laughs> hey, that's there's a lineup, Dan. Yeah. We're <laughs> fucked. <laughs> like, Finish, bro. Um yeah, but yeah. yeah, I do think it's a bit of like group think and like piling on, like, mm. oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Oh, he's not cool anymore. Or people are starting to kick him. Let's all just jump on and say like, if you don't know Brandy, you shouldn't be in hip hop. I don't think that's true at all. I got a perhaps nah. controversial question. Mm. Um, is oh. it harder to be a white rapper than to be a black rapper? Um, depends who. You- Do you think, That's like, ty- typically, yeah, we think of, like, let's say Tiger Woods, Lewis Hamilton, they're going into traditionally white uh-huh. spaces, mm-hmm. uh, every move is scrutinised and mm-hmm. whatnot, and it seems like they're really fighting against the tide. 
Do you think that's the, that the same applies in reverse? No, I, in I think I don't think so. You know, I think um, black culture is bare welcoming. Yeah, mm. like yeah. doesn't matter who you are if you are black. Well, oh, sorry, white. If you're Asian, black. Yeah, bare welcoming. And mm. I feel like there's a thing where, like, if you see another race taking part in like said culture mm. like yeah. we're like we pra- we almost promote it and we're like yeah, this yeah, is yeah. cold mm, like, mm, mm. whereas I think the other way around there's it's more not. like protectionism yes and yeah, the yeah. kind of ring fence stuff yeah um, but I think where it's going I think it's going to become harder yes for white rappers and this is what I think um, I'm clocking as like as I'm yeah. listening to you speak I'm like it's more I think it already is a sign of now uh-huh. and like culturally and the internet and yeah, stuff yeah, like that yeah, where yeah. it's becoming a problem like I don't think M he had to prove himself but mm. everyone has to prove themselves yeah. Yeah. Um, but I think Harlow is going to he's going to come up against more stick because we're yes. in that I'm just going to call it the picky era where everyone's mm. picking at any kind of thing just looking for mm. a little a little hole in your armour yeah that boy's protected though, because he's got. Um, Drake. Who, who's he signed to? He's though? got Man powers him. behind him. I'm not sure, but yeah, there's bare money. Like, there's, mm. yeah, yeah, clearly he's got yeah, a mad push. Yeah, 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 there's a ridiculous push around him. Um, but yeah, man, shout out to Kendrick. Um, shout out to Jack Harlow. You mean you mean Spencer. Jake Harlow? Jake, Harlow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> mugged it. Um, yeah, shout out to Gwen Stefani as well, man. Wow, oh, it's so that video is so too. funny. <laughs> what, what what's this? That's the instrumental that he spits on. Oh, okay, 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 okay. That's a joke. Shocker, shocker. Anyway. Yo, Man and Podcast, Mm -hmm. episode 245? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 245, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Confident with that one. I'm not confident, but I I should actually know that. I edit them every week. Um, Yeah, welcome back. Another week. Uh, If you're listening, anywhere you're listening, actually, please like, share, subscribe, Mm -hmm. share, retweet, all of them things. Please, we appreciate it. Yeah, shout out to the the new listeners, the new subscribers. Yeah, there's yes, a couple new ones. New listeners, new subscribers. Thing. Welcome. Yes, yes, yes. You're in for a uh, a journey. <laughs> yeah. A never ending. Yeah, that's a good way to put journey. it. A journey. Uh, uh, how are weeks been? Um, how's my week been? Uh, my week's actually been quite eventful. Um, mm-hmm. Chat I to think, us. I didn't mention it last week, and I can't remember when we actually booked it, but um. Oh yeah, me and Mike go in New York. When do you go? June the 9th. Okay, for four days. Two man trip. Two man trip. You ever done a two man trip man. before? Never. I think two man trips never have done it. Real potential. That's bonding on a on a whole new level. I yeah, feel they have yeah. real potential. Like <laughs> yeah. I think there's something about just going away anyway. Oh, that yeah, is yeah, mad yeah. bonding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, um, yeah. Yeah, two man trip. That yeah, would be deep. Two man trip yeah. to the Big Apple. To the Big Apple, fam. Cold man. I actually, cannot. First time. Yeah, 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 I've been trying to get to New York for a minute. Um, but yeah, me and Matt have been talking about it for time. Mm. Trying to get, like, man, them like to do stuff in numbers. Yeah, blah, 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 yeah, whatever. yeah. Um, so yeah, so you just, I think when I came back from Budapest, you kind of get the holiday. Yeah, the, the travel bug. The travel yeah, yeah, yeah. When yeah. I want to get away again. So, and I think while I was there, I was like, when are we going to New York? Okay. So we came back. Jumped on a Zoom, talking about flights, talking about Zoom, 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 yeah. big and serious, yeah. yeah. Mad putting I the calendar. See your face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know how Mike gets down. He's mad organ like fam. Yeah, had... <laughs> I bet you had bare screens. Oh, <laughs> yeah, bare tabs. Just clicking right, click through here, check this. Then the next tab, do this, do that. I was like, yeah, I was just there listening. Just yeah, tell, just yeah, tell yeah, me yeah. how much. He's a salesman. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, just tell me how much, and then we can go from there. Um, but yeah, I think we booked it the week before. Um, so this would have been before we recorded the last uh-huh. episode. Mm. Um, but I just forgot. So yeah, so that was good. Um, and then this week, um, accepted a new uh, job offer. Come on. The price has gone up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yesterday's yeah, price yeah, yeah. is not today's um, price. What a fact, Joe. Um, so yeah, that came through this week, which was good. Um, is that a reluctant leave? Is that like a, a leave where your like hand you... was forced? Uh, hand definitely not forced. Mm-hmm. Um, I just felt like it's like a a mixture of things or slash reasons, but I just felt that it was time for me to kind of get, and I've not been there for long. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, I was like, yeah, yeah you yeah. ain't been there I long. Was, I had not been there for particularly long. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's a prick. I was like, what's, he, been what's he coming to ask us? Like? Pitch, a a pitch invader. <laughs> Dickhead. Um, yeah, I've not been there partic- for particularly long, um, but you know when, 
You know when you just go somewhere and you just think you're like you're not really like settled. Fair. Mm-hmm. Or you're not, you're feeling, not really in it. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I just felt and I, I think I was saying this on uh the pod when I first moved. Um mm-hmm. that joining somewhere in the working from home period, mm-hmm. which I'm about yeah, to do again. Yeah, yeah. Is is strange. It's less so though now, isn't it? Yeah, right. So but so I th- but I think depending on how the company approaches that mm-hmm. will determine how integrated you become. Integrated is the word. I never felt yeah, like yeah, massively yeah, 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 integrated. Yeah. For like a freelancer. A little bit. <laughs> yeah, I know. I a little like... bit. It's a bit like like people will chat to you and work, but... Fam, it's only, not the same, fam. I'm talking to you about if it's like work. Even like the team chat that we No one have. asks you how your day is and shit like that. Like, what are you, what are you doing this weekend? Mm. Nothing. Not what you're doing this weekend. Like and now like here and like sparingly mm. so it just felt like and especially not going into the office it just felt like, like very removed I can't do anything no one's Nothing been like oh end. has this been done or mm. outside of the client asking you mm-hmm. by email and he manages he's cc but he won't even chase you up for it so it's a little bit like this is so new place you'll be in there new place i think i'll be there a couple of days in a week um which I, which is fine for uh-huh. me. I think it helps with that integration part and um, breaking up the week. Yeah, mm. I think I'm not getting bored of working from home, but being at home all the time. Yeah, well, mm. sure. so it's almost fully remote, kind of. If you want, currently they want you in three days a week, but but not a soul. I don't think I've been there for over a month. Mm. Jeez, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> not been, but then no one's like chasing you up. Pressing saying, oh, you, yeah, mm-hmm. like, mm-hmm. you gotta come in because then there's there's used to be days where I'd go in. Like the Wednesday was our designated day or uh-huh. the day we agreed that everyone would come in. But going on a Wednesday, no one's in. Mm. So I'm like, bro, what Yeah, is... I'm, I'm not showing yeah, up. I'm not doing I'm this not. again. Like that happened a couple of times. Learn. I was like, yeah, I'm not doing this yeah. again. Like It's not like I don't travel far, uh-huh. but even like the short distance is a bit like, what's the point in mm. getting ready, waking up early, getting ready, all of that. Been set up, yeah. Yeah, so then I just stopped. Like, Do you think the new up. jobs, you're going to be more integrated? I think so. Um the interview process, you get that feeling. And the guy that I was, uh, for the last one that I spoke to, he's a man that likes being in the office. Mm. Okay. Um, so I think he not, I don't think they'll ever enforce it, but he's like, he's just like, he's more like old school, likes being in the office, like mm-hmm. shirt jumper, like trousers, okay. whatever. Yeah, mm. that kind of guy. Um, so I think there'll definitely be a few days where the team will be in the office, mm-hmm. um, but I'm, I'm completely fine with it. I think you'll, find it tough to go somewhere where it's either completely remote or it's just kind of coming when you want kind of thing mm. um but yeah that happened this week Decent. um and yeah that's it really then you, re- you return to work this week yes oh yeah uh Paternity done return to work yeah the, the the holiday is over the fun is over um some people say that uh, it's like a relief going back to work. Mm. Oh, for you, can, you can get away from you certain can, you things. Can, yeah, you yeah, might yeah. not have to wake Less up responsibility. and help out. Mm. Yeah, 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 work, yeah. Babe. My alarm's been set. <laughs> um, but no, it has been probably the nicest like return to work. Like, have, not in the have, office, right? Have you, you have no, to say, I haven't have you been, been back in? into the office. Probably going to go next week, uh, mm. put my foot in the water, um, test it out. But yeah, like zero expectation on me mm. this week. Yeah. Like, people just asking questions. And, yeah, yeah. yeah. Using the kid as um, a pawn in uh, the bigger <laughs> game. Yeah. Um, so yeah, he's playing his part. Um, Being going so go, sorry, then, going into the office mm-hmm. will be the longest period of time we've had away. Since Probably. Yeah, 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 yeah. How are you uh-huh. feeling about that? Um, not too fast. I guess, yeah, it's obviously not happened yet. So. Um, mm. And you, that will happen this week. You said. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it is like all oh, like daunting or whatever, mm. yeah. but. I think that the fear in your head is more like built up to yeah. it. Like that's, yeah, yeah. I that's, think that's the case with everything. That's the thing. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Um, there's no real issue. Like he's taken care of, yada, yada, yada. There's people who are close by who can help out. Mm-hmm. Um, but in your head, you're like, oh, what if yeah, this? Yeah, and yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It hasn't happened when you were there. So <laughs> mm. yeah. chances are it might not happen. And mm. yeah, there's people around who can help out. So, yeah. Um, um, yeah, I'm almost looking forward to seeing what that feeling is like. Mm. That first morning when I'm walking out the door and mm. I'm like, yeah. ah. teary eyes. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> crying like it's my first day at school. Um, but no, it's um, yeah, something that we we got to do, got to adapt to. Um, but has yeah. it? I was gonna say cool. a question. Um, has it been difficult? Because everyone says like, you, baby, sleepless nights, all mm-hmm. of that. Obviously, you're working from home, so it's a bit different. Has that been difficult to work? To um, like, have you been tired? You I mean, but you're always tired. I'm always fucking tired. I have. Um, I just adapted. So prior to going 
back to work. I was going to sleep at like one a.m. We were put like, we were all going to sleep at like one mm. twelve, and it's all a mess. But now when it hits like ten, the TV's going off, stuff's yeah, getting put yeah, yeah. out of the way, yeah, yeah, the yeah, teeth yeah. are getting brushed, and then you just give yourself a, that's an extra two three hours yeah, yeah, of yeah, muck yeah, about yeah. time or leeway. Mm. Um, so yeah, it's basically just being on top of mm. your game. Mm. Um, and I remember we were saying, yeah, like getting up earlier and yada yada yada. I think yeah, the earliest I woke up this week was like eleven minutes past four. Oh, oh that's early. I was up, man. Well, and and like, doing stuff. I weren't. Fun. I was awake though, and I was okay. like in the yard. Though. Yeah, okay. I could have gone gym. I could have mm, done this. Yeah. Ended up falling asleep again around like seven. But I was like, this ain't too bad mm. because I went bed early. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah, um, yeah. So yeah, I think next week we'll start seeing it, man. The commute again and the whole. And in shirts, and mm. the whole shebang. Um, but no, nah, man, it's not. It's not too bad. Um, and yeah, I take by what I said the first week. It's, it's not. <laughs> it's, it's <laughs> I was waiting for that. I, think I, was, I was riding high on adrenaline <laughs> <laughs> um, and all sorts. Yeah. Um, oh man. But yeah, it's a, it's a, it's an interesting experience, man. Mm. Is, is, is what I say, man. Rich. Um, yeah, rich. Uh not too many takeaways. I've been back in the office. I was in three days this week. I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah, three days this week. It's fucking long, man. Like, like, I like it because uh, a man can read a book on the train and all of that. But, bro, I, I lose like three hours a day. Oh, yeah, you're coming yeah. serious, isn't it? And to think about it, like... like ten hours. Someone to uh, take ten hours. I'm taking that. Where are you yeah. going to? To Liverpool Street, St. Paul's. And then, like, it's like a 20... I say 20 minutes. It's like a 15-minute walk from here to station. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Station to Liverpool Street, 40 minutes. And then, like, a 20-minute walk on the other side. Mm. Adds up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Adds yeah. up. Mm-hmm. And I don't mind it. I'm like, yeah, my steps are through the roof. And yeah, 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 so you yeah. Get a bit of, uh, what's it, neating and shit like mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. It's good. It's good for the body, but it's hard on the mind. Though. It's, <laughs> it's hard on the spirit. It's time. time. It's time. <laughs> it's the most precious commodity, isn't it? Yeah. So oh, it's been what it is, man. But um, I've been doing the early bed thing, like 10 o'clock. Mm-hmm. It's lights out. Feeling better for it or? Yeah, bro. I get up and I'm I'm awake by like six at them this morning. Mm-hmm. Uh, most mornings, even this morning, not, I got not too groggy, not too groggy. Like I'm going to the gym. I'm having to warm up, like mm-hmm. and run because I don't wake up until about. I must be almost like halfway through a mile run, okay. and I'm like, oh, we're we're here oh, yeah. now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's not separate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I've been turned on. Like I'm like, okay, and then <laughs> I'll get like started. But um, yes, it's I'm rating going to going to bed early. Thing, it's better. And you know what? As well, yeah. You give yourself less time for foolishness. Yeah. Because I might watch a show and be like, oh, fuck it. Next yeah, one yeah, or something yeah, else. Yeah, I'm yeah. like, no, uh-huh. it's bedtime. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's, it's Do you decent. have the, the sleep thing on your iPhone? Yes. Yeah, I do. What's yeah, happening? Yeah, what time? Remind of it. Yeah, it's yeah, it's, yeah. uh, it's got to be like 10 or 10 30. I have it, but I don't pay attention. Oh, just yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no, I, got, I got eleven on man, and I just swipe it up. Do you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what I do. I, I have so I, yeah, no. forty-five <laughs> minutes wi- uh, wind, wind down, down as well. Okay, so that comes up. It's half an hour. Mine says, I think mine's forty-five. I, I need minutes. to update my gone. iOS for mine. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I air it sometimes. But more re- this week, I've been, I've been in bed. But I, I, I say I ignore it. I think it gives me because you know maybe sometimes you're out or you're just doing stuff. You're not mm. really paying attention mm. to the time. It's a good indicator to remind you. Oh, it's that it's mm. in and around Stop. that time. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Wind oh. down. So yeah, yeah, so yeah if you're yeah, watching yeah. a series, you've not looked at the time for a while, and it goes off. You're like, okay, I'm maybe I watch. Yeah, maybe mm-hmm. I watch like another half an hour, episode. or mm. I watch like half of the next episode. Then I would like lock it off or it's whatever. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I only have that one in the week though. Uh, oh, weekends. I'll think, still try and think, get to bed at a good time, but. I think weekend. Man's always on. I think. Now I do my five days Monday through Friday. Monday Friday. But they say in it that. Regardless, no, you still keep it within should, like yeah, an hour or so. Stay yeah. within, yeah, like, your yeah. bedtime and your waking yeah. up time should all be the same, mm. which is tough. Yeah, that drift is mad time it's stuff. Tough, it's, tough, it's tough. How long you say you've been doing the early thing for? I started doing it when I was in Cyprus, but it's this, the, this, the Cyprus one's techie because mm. six a.m. Cyprus time. Oh no, what time was I waking up? I was waking up like eight a.m. Mm-hmm. So it's about six here. So yeah, it's about the same okay. actually. Um, when you go, I'm going to sleep when. I'm trying to be I'm in bed by 9 Ooh. or like a 9.15 I'll be watching something but I'm, eyes closed since around Cyprus no Cyprus was hit and miss I was trying I was doing okay. it as best I could but then when you go past that time do you notice that you're like you've gone past it but body wise without looking at the time or anything Um, no do you know why yeah because when I used sorry when I used to do wake up early mm. and it get late like if I've gone past 
let's say I used to go to bed at half nine or whatever mm. it was. If it's going, like, say it's like 11, mm. like, I would feel it's that, your that like, like, I'm usually asleep. Yeah. Body's crying. Like, like, I would, like, literally, like, my headache, like, I'd feel like a headache. Like, you get, like, no. heavy. And I'd, like, you'd look at the time and you'd be like, yeah, you, should, you normally yeah, yeah, should have yeah, been yeah, asleep yeah. by get now. Get home. No, I don't get that. I'm uh, just a spirit. I just go with it. Oh, like, <laughs> oh, I'm alive. I'm alive. spirit. Like, oh, this is life. I love being alive. But what, I, I'll feel it in the morning. Hours. <laughs> I'll feel it in the morning because my body will still get up at the same time. So I'm like, I've okay. clean, just lost a couple of hours. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're trying, man. Just You just got to keep trying. All this stuff, yeah. Just so keep trying. That's all we can do, man. Just keep yeah, trying. Just keep trying. Bro. That's where we are. Um, but yeah, next week I'll update you on uh, leading a double laugh. With um, yeah, <laughs> a parent, uh, a night owl, and um, an employee, it's gonna be it's gonna please, be interesting. Please do. I'm waiting. I'm, I can't wait to look back on this like we did in mm-hmm. Corona and that. Mm-hmm. It's gonna it's gonna be funny. It's Speaking gonna... of Corona, mm. monkeypox. Yes, oh. I want. I, I, want wanna, put, I just want to put it on on record. Yeah, uh, that right. I am scared. I think it's serious. <laughs> I think it should be treated as a big national health. Uh, uh, Rich, how should we approach this one? Because hey. Rich is usually right. So Fuck on sake. the um, the outbreak front and pandemics and epidemics and that, I ain't got a clue. I haven't I haven't been covering monkeypox at work. I've seen it on the news and stuff I'm at yard, them, man. but um, bros, I don't know nothing. I I know that it's in the country. Mm-hmm. Um, there are this is what I saw on BBC. There are alerts, particularly in uh, what's it? homosexual circles okay okay i don't know i don't actually know exactly how it's spreading but i think it's close contacts but apparently it's in like more homosexual circles at the moment um and it's not fatal okay no however i think people are taking this seriously more so than covid because it's a fact i'm gonna call it not because of covid it's aesthetic it affects Mm. your aesthetic you get bare Boils, boils oh, and yeah, lumps yeah, and yeah, yeah. people. I see one picture. Yeah, people don't. You don't get to see a man's lungs, isn't it? Yeah, you don't yeah, get to see yeah, it. But yeah. if it's on the body, man are like, nah, nah, nah. I'm staying in my yard. There's no way I'm catching that. No yeah. chance. Lesions and that. Yeah, um, lesions. <laughs> what even is a lesion? <laughs> 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 I just lesions, fam. Um, <laughs> and particularly, it's in uh, homosexual circles. Man are gonna be like. Oh, there's no way I can catch it even, and there's gonna be a couple man. There's oh, gonna be a couple okay. man that hmm. that might catch the monkeypox that you don't know about, bro. Oh. But um, yeah, man. Uh, I don't know nothing about monkeypox. I haven't really got any advice. You've got the drop? Nah, it, it doesn't spread like COVID. It's not airborne, I don't believe. Hmm. So I'm, I'm I'm scared. I'm taking it seriously, man. I'm low key, yeah. I'm low key thinking I can't I can't do this again. Yeah, I'm not trying I to look back I can't go, I can't to go what, and be lockdown and be blasé and say. I batted it away. Monkeypox, serious thing, guys. Like, it's a serious thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I could go through all of that stuff or whatever. It might again. be. Nah, I can't. We can't. Yeah, imagine because apparently our numbers are high. Again, I'm not. I'm sometimes reporting on this news, but I'm not really taking it. in. apparently our numbers are high. All of that. We should probably be in yard. But I mean, it was like yeah. a Monday or whatever day it was, and I was like, oh, it's like not to worry about. Mm. View like cases are low in mm. the UK. Mm-hmm. Like Tuesday, the shit doubled. <laughs> Bro, it's mad. Yeah. I was like, "What?" I am. Um, I'm staying indoors for that one, man. Still, yeah. Mm. Let's, yeah, let's, yeah. let's take this one seriously, man. I've, I, I'm, I'm on the reverse as you. Oh, were, yes, so the I think this one's gonna be calm. Blase. Yeah, yeah, I think this is gonna blow over. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just scarred, man, from previous events. The crazy thing is, you just don't know. You don't know. Could you man do lockdown and all that again? No, no, no. no. Nah. If you was talking about mental health, then. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, believe! Oh, oh, it's goodness it's me, MH. Oh, now we're we're here. You know, we've made it out. Whatever we say that. But do yeah, sorry, do we ahead. think that? Um, are, are we in a position to look back on um, that period and say that it affected us? Or, or was there something you saw in yourself? Um, because yeah, going through it, most of us seem to just push on through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but do you think that there was an after effect or a change, or did you actually go through something in that that time? I definitely changed. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I, I've def- I've I, think, I think everyone's changed. Mm-hmm. I think because it was a two year thing almost. Um, maybe you might put that just down to actually naturally just getting older. You can do that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, lessons or anything that's affected or learnt from COVID, I, I'm not sure. Mm. I think there was a period in the lockdown thing where 
I was waking up, same thing kept playing on my mind. And I was like, blood, this needs to stop. <laughs> the same thing? <laughs> yes. You're going to tell us what it was? No. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. But it just kept, kept coming to me at like 3 a.m. Mm. And I was just like, this is mad. Mm. This mm. is bonkers. Like, yada, yada, yada. I was just like, oh, maybe it is just being in your yard. Things are just... Heightened, mm. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah but bothered, like, we made it up, man. It was a mad time, it was yeah, a mad time, yeah, yeah. Um, I it, think I'm the way I say it's changed me. I think I'm more perhaps selfish with my time, mm. or I got used to right. having bare of my own time, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um, so I feel like I share it. And I think it's share again, it. like Les said, one of those things that you would have done that probably we nah, might, yeah, I, I would have got, got to naturally, but I think this might have hastened it a bit, um. Is that yeah? I'm more selfish with my time. I'm more conscious of it, and I think yeah. they're, I think they're good things. Yeah. For me, and I had a a weird kind of, yeah, almost like yeah, confirmed and then unconfirmed with uh, in COVID. So we couldn't really see people that much. Yeah. We didn't shit over Zoom and that. And I was like, you know what? This isn't that bad. Mm -hmm. I had a proper like, I'm not that affected by this. Yeah, like, yeah. But then I don't know when it happened, but I was like. Nah, man, I miss my people, see, yeah. man. I miss <laughs> yeah. my people, man. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Even when I said I've even going out last week or whatever. Yeah. Well, yeah, just yeah, the yeah. energy it's I different. received, like, yeah. it's better good, like, different. you need those yeah. things, so. Yeah, I think to, to Rich's point, I think, yeah, COVID or lockdown or whatever made me realise that um, certain things don't matter. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. there's not, whereas you used to think, like, not time was infinite, but we've got forever. Almost. Yeah. Mm. You don't. Mm -hmm. So I'm less like blase. Yeah, I'm less. I'm less bothered by things that one I can't control, and two things that used to probably bother me before. Mm -hmm. And I'm now I'm a bit more stringent with my time and the things that I put effort into people as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm just a bit like I'm here in my space and I'm cool here. If you want to be in this space, then cool. Mm -hmm. You can move in that space, but if me and my space and whatever energy whatever ain't clicking then it's cool man no hard feelings we, everything's mm -hmm. blessed but mm -hmm. let's just that sounds like a good lesson so. just just stay over there and I'll, I'll be over here and we can do that it's decent man we're gonna do that separately. we're gonna do it all again <laughs> with the monkey more ah. learnings yeah yeah please yeah. no ah. man <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ yes. I was with the missus yesterday and she's got Whoa! And she's the, got the day before. She was like, "Oh, um, like she's got like a spot on her arm." Mm. I didn't think nothing of it. I was like, "Ah, oh, whatever." Then, like the day, I think I must have woke up and I was like reading the, the news or whatever as I do. And obviously, monkeypox <laughs> come up, so it's in my head. Mm. And she mentioned it again, and in my head, I was thinking, "Yeah, it might be time." This to is to, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It. Might be time to. To leave or Pati get some, some sort zero, of medication, but I think yeah, I don't think it is is anything. Keep us, mad too. Keep us posted, man. But yeah, it's these things. COVID was the same. It started off as oh, nothing to worry about. It's mm. few cases, mm. like it's only in certain places, and if you've got like not of great health, then like, every, the everyone was getting licked down mm. with it. Ooh. But I really hope. Yeah, I was chatting to my mom about the pandemic and all of that. And the war, and I was like, "Oh, lifetimes actually, we've actually kind of had it bad." You know, like when people, I feel we've like everyone says that. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, "Oh, seems a bit mad still," but um, God, I really hope we don't have to go through that again. Nah, nah. Actually, I feel like I'm, I'm built for it. Like we survived, mm -hmm. didn't I? I could do it, but nah, I don't think fuck so. that, man. It's just so just a not waste. in such mm -hmm. social proximity waste. as well. Nah, fuck that. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but even, even like, if it's like ten 60. years from now, like twenty thirty, mm. fuck that, man. Yeah, you should get outside. it done now. No, I just don't like. I just, just hope no, we don't. No, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I hope we don't, Please, man. Never again. It's dead. Yeah, no, nah, I can't. I, I cannot do it again. Speaking of things that we can't do again, but you can do again, the N Dubs reunion tour. Uh, will we be wearing hats with strings on the side? Na na na. <laughs> <laughs> nah, uh, I like, no. I respect N Dubs. Oh, wait, is that is that for your cap? Uh, yes. For stealing that from yes. Beanie Man? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, it's yeah, bait yeah. as well. Yeah. It's the baitest one. Um, I like and I respect N Dubs, but if I never hear their music ever again, mm -hmm. I will not be affected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, the day before they, that news got announced, no one was sitting around thinking, I wonder what they're doing. <laughs> like, do we, like... That was something that was pushed. Yeah. Do you know what yeah, I need? Yeah. Yeah. No, no one ever said that. Tour or album or music, like, I don't think... I think I heard it so... I think sold out, sold, sold out, out. Yeah. Bare fast, bare fast. Um, every, nostalgia, man. 
every no, because city in like every, in the UK like major city. Certain things like younger kids and but the kids yeah. that listen to end of are adults now. They're yeah. grown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, similar to like the, the, when Spice Girls and them lot trying to do their tours. Mm. Yeah, it's yeah, probably that yeah, yeah. kind of. Now the Spice Girls one, I feel though. Music, oh, you yeah, feel yeah, this? Yeah, 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 yeah. I wasn't. Yeah. I was never gonna go. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but, but I'm like, like, that's ultra, that's, ultra yeah, nostalgia. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. music's also like a one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be honest. It's not bad. <laughs> I'll be honest. Spice Girls have some ridiculous hits. Like when two become one. Two become yeah, one. Ah, bonkers. Never knew what it meant until I them. Um, I did. <laughs> <laughs> it's advanced. Um, yeah. No, nah, they've got they got ridiculous tunes. Yeah. No, um, that, that shit's. I'll certain. be honest. End up, I think they had one album. I, I couldn't even tell really? you. Really? Yeah, I think it's one album. Uh, end up's fans, let me know. Um, We're gonna get mad hate mail. The album was cold, you know. I never listened to it. The Lauren Hill thing. Yeah, yeah, one and done. Yeah. One and done. I thought it was Uncle B. I think it was dedicated to Uncle B. Or, mm. Um, But that album was, it that. was, I'm going to say very good. Yeah. This time. <clears throat> so I was thinking, um, when I heard about the NW's reunion and that, I was driving just mm. on Kappa Lecture or whatever. And I was thinking, Toulouse. Toulouse. <laughs> We've got Jake Harlow. <laughs> To Lisa, to you're next. To Lisa, to Lisa, um, could have been anyone. Oh, just any girl. I feel like there was just like oh, I feel like Dappy done his thing. Was it Phaser? Yeah. Phaser production. Um, production. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like Toulouse. to Lisa, to Lisa. What is right now? I'm confused. You've got to Lisa. To Lisa could have been anybody. Like, oh, just like any girl that I don't think that talent Yeah, I think it could have been anybody. And that might be a bit disrespectful, but that's how I feel. And yeah, that's fair. I, I kind of get what you're saying. I just feel like at that time, the UK needed a group. And like there was a spot that needed to be filled mm-hmm. and they filled it. I feel like Dappy is seriously talented. I'm not going to deny yeah. that. I think he's actually better. They're all kind of, they've got their own little like issues and mm. <sighs> yeah. They've strange, got a lot yeah, characters. going outside like yeah, mm-hmm. in, their, in their personal lives. But um, I don't know, man. I think they kind of, it's a weird way to describe a group or whatever, but I yeah. feel like they served their purpose. Like. Fair. Fair. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if uh, 2022 has... They've released a new song. A as version well. of... Ed oh, Ed's. um... Nah, I don't... Yeah. Do you know what? who I would have said earlier on, mm. and it's probably just because it's a trio, um, I would have said Western, like early in their days. Oh, okay. I would have said Western, but I feel like Western, are like actually all of them individually talented as well. Yeah. So I, I'm not going to say Western. Um, but yeah, with that mix of like a producer who doesn't really sing or stuff, but he features heavily, mm-hmm. Dappy, like a rapper. Oh, yeah. bit, bit, a little rapper, bit do it all. Yeah. And then like the girl singer. Mm. Like, I don't know if that is like a thing <laughs> in 2022. I can't see it in 2022. No. no do you know what? Yeah. Because it's, it's a semi, it's a little bit of a, not a gimmick. Per se, it's a group. Mm. It's we a, don't yeah. really have urban groups. No, you don't. That's what like, I'm, that's coming to, outside of like your so, your crews, like mm. your so solid yeah, crews yeah, and yeah. your more fires. That's, is that, there's not many Clear trios when I pre it. Cleopatra, um, Jesus. But there's, there's not many groups. What, is, what other urban groups are there? Yeah, you're right. Besides the Blazing Squad, of course. And then uh, you got your little another drill level. squads and that. You got like six, se- six, seven. Oh, no, they don't <laughs> count, man. You got gangs. <laughs> <laughs> drill, drill gangs. Well, um, they're, they're, te- they're kind of the new Section groups, boys, aren't they? Really. Yeah, yeah, section It's the closest yeah. thing. They're, yeah, they're, they're the new groups. Yeah, oh, no, oh, yeah. I'm going, shoot. <laughs> 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 Young choreographed dancing. Oh, hey. No dance routines. Yeah. No, I'm happy for, happy for them it's though. Throwback. Like, good. I'm happy that they could bring it all back together. They've released a new tune. They've and done this before, no? Or am I, I feel like they sure did a tour like is. 10 years ago. I don't know. Some Mandela effect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dead again. I'm pretty sure. I feel like they did. I may be wrong. You're I'm probably wrong. Oh, Shizzle. Yeah, it is. What? what? Um, Charles, behind, behind it. Um, I feel like they've done this before or. Maybe they, they were in the news for something. It might have been mm-hmm. a beef, actually. Um, but yeah, I felt like N-Dubs were coming back for something or... Okay. Yeah. Um, but yeah. I just is think... it always a sign of... kind? Is, is people say when you end up on... Or previously, it was like... If you end up on like Big Brother... I'm a celeb. I'm a celeb. Yeah, you're at the end of... Uh, 
I guess, or you're, you're approaching your overdraft as a celeb. <laughs> um, do we see like reunion tours as cash grabs? Yes. Oh, just straight, yeah, straight yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's not. I know. I, right, right. So I think that commercially a, it works for everybody. Yeah, for I think the cash part of it is a byproduct of wanting to perform those songs. Mm-hmm. I think they are uh, performers, entertainers. So I think, may, I like to think anyway, naturally that's what they like to do and they want to do. Mm-hmm. Um, obviously for every reason they stopped and times changed. So then you're probably not going to be relevant as much as you were on your own as something new to us. But as N-dubs, you're always gonna, your tour's going to sell out whenever you come out and do one. Um, but I think then the cash that comes with it is always great. It's a it's massive a pool, benefit. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Mm. yeah. But I think in today's time, really, we don't massively need them. So I think the cash definitely helps. I think, I don't know if they always are. I would say in this case, they are. Because I feel like end ups actually broke up. Yeah. Yeah. Like, they fell apart and they yeah, like, had their own little turmoil. Yeah. yeah. And then them coming together and the tour, it feels like, yeah, man, we we need to eat. I don't think it necessarily means they're broken at though. Just like this, it's easy, it's easy yeah, money, yeah. isn't it? Cash yeah, cow yeah. type thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. It, yeah, it's a bit of a, yeah, it's a I, bit of a yeah, cash. And I think that, that whole shout with the going on like Big Brother and I'm a celeb and other mm-hmm. reality TV shows, loose women and that. Yeah, on the panel. I kind of think. So <laughs> what? Do it. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. If I can go on this show, someone's gonna pay me, and someone's gonna pay me to be on TV. Mm-hmm. Like, why would, like, I'm, like... Yeah, I'm no I'm, longer doing my... Yeah, what was I'm my job. Yeah, I'm not like, I'm not doing what you lot know me for. Or Man, I know about the cost for. of living crisis as yeah. well. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. like, why would I not go on this show for free? Mm-hmm. You're right, Not you know. for free, but yeah. someone's going to pay me to be on there. Yeah. Yeah, we... get looked after, like... I'm not losing out on food or whatever. Like we always look at, but yeah, you're right, Dan. We look at the man as though it's like it's broke it's or like, oh, you must be, you're like, you must be struggling. Like, no, this just makes just sense. Yeah, I always, yeah, like, yeah. always like people used to say about like I'm, I'm, I'm a celeb in particular. Yeah. I always used to think, oh, like you're at the end of it and blah blah. And I was like, well, yeah, he's like, and who was it? I um, is Ian Wright been on it? Ian Wright's been on it. I, I think, think so. Like, yeah, on yeah. There in 2019. Yeah, Ian Wright comes to my head. Um, Chris Eubank <laughs> as well. Like other people, like oh, he's like. They're this old and they're that old, like mm-hmm. you know, they're washed up and whatever. Like, yeah, if I'm 15, I can get a bag. Do yeah. you know what? I mean, like, like, it's actually like bare fun. Some of them as well. Um, you've introduced me. I haven't actually watched it yet. Uh-huh. I'm hearing bear chat, chat uh, talk about it. Um, the games. Oh, the games. Yeah, I haven't actually oh, yeah, seen yeah, yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. The games was decent, fact, man. I saw what I it's saw. Good. Yeah, um, it was de- it's done now. Uh, it's just like a week. I saw oh, one uh, event. Athletics event. Is it on B- BBC? It was Channel Three. ITV. Okay. Yeah, yeah, because I watched it because um, channel three, channel three, giving away the age, wow. <laughs> channel one or um, three. <laughs> a presenter I work with sometimes, um, she dropped on the thing, uh, what's her name now? Oh, she uh, does, Lucrezia uh, Met- Met- Mezzarini, Lucrezia is her first does she name, do like ITV, yeah, she's London, an ITV presenter, BBC London. yeah, 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 yeah. ITV, ITV um, uh, evening news, yeah, yeah, she was doing like the 400 meters. She drops at the line. It's peak. The last the drop um, was bonkers. <laughs> it was a mad drop. But like, I feel like you give me the chance to do that. I'm doing that every oh, day of the week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even if I'm a regular professional, yeah. like whatever I'm doing, I'm showing it up. Kind of gets you off because that's live. Ish. Yeah. <laughs> and you know what I think is overlooked as well. Yeah. If you succeed on these shows, mm. it is the extension strategy. That's it. Yes. So now that's you turn up on yeah. this yeah. next little interview yeah. thing. You might do Saturday Fully. Kitchen or mm-hmm. and yeah. Deck might have something and Let's you go. end up on Mo Let's so go. far, Mo the Comedian go. show. Mm. Like, I, I see why these people do it. It makes sense. Yeah. It makes perfect sense. Even if it is a cash grab, it, like, a lot of it makes sense. Mm-hmm. I think, mm-hmm. I think, I, I think the reason maybe why it might be looked down on is it's the public's perception of you and what it can do to you. So if the public don't take to you, mm-hmm. they can rip you to shreds and it could end everything. That'll be it. Like, mm-hmm. so, yeah, it could make it a lot worse. Mm-hmm. But I think if you're lucky enough to be likable on it, it just heightens what that is. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, for me, like if they offer me to go and I'm a celeb or big brother or whatever it is, I am not saying no. Mm-hmm. Mm. I think it worked for like Peter Andre, for instance. He went on to I'm a Celeb. Did I feel like he just hasn't left again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, he he never, did he have a spin-off show in that? Uh, yes, yeah, because yeah. he yeah, got yeah. with Jordan, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, 
but yeah, he he played it well. Because mm, um, yeah. he was like a little one hit wonder mm. in like 96, 97 probably. <laughs> when, we were in the, when Natty come to Cyprus, uh-huh. he was like, you look, I'm going to play a song from a Cypriot icon. Oh, and I was like, he's like, think wow. about it. I was like, I don't know, I don't Why know. Have and then you done this? Mysterious Girl came on. Wow. I was like, thank you so much. You got Cyprus, yeah, and, yeah, you got yeah. Cyprus and Jamaica mixed up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, he played it bare well. Mm. Um, and he's actually bounced back. Do you think we're going to see more reunions now? Now, end ups have kicked down the door. Is it going to be a more fire reunion? Yeah, the more fire reunion or the. I think yeah, I think that's, it's likely still. Mm-hmm. Oh, I think it's likely. Oh. It's going to give people a couple people ideas. Probably in it. Yeah, and like, I think yeah, the the people who are like savvy are probably the cogs are probably starting to turn. Yeah, yeah. Me- Mega Man's ringing man right yeah, now. Yeah, hundred yeah, like, yeah, 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 like, yeah, yeah. percent. He's got his hat on Top and he's on the phone. Yeah. Like yeah, I think yeah, yeah. Is probably making moves already. Hundred percent. Because um, we know yeah he had his run-ins with. N dubs uh, and mm. Teniza. Um so yeah, he might try to counter it. Um but yeah, I think that's a space to watch. We're gonna see like Mystique get back together. <laughs> Alicia, Alicia Dixon, Dixon, don't oh, do it. You know what, yeah, she's I saw her the other day life. um and I just found it bare funny that she used to rap like mm-hmm. in that yeah, yeah, in yeah, that yeah, yeah, in yeah, that yeah. fucking sinister voice that, as yeah. well. <laughs> I hated that voice. Uh, yeah. I'll, I won't uh, do we will we be attending the Mystique reunion? I'm busy. I think <laughs> some groups probably don't have enough catalog. But if they do, oh, I can't remember what the tour is. Um, the Americans did it where they had like Bow Wow on there. I think like Mario. I know what you're talking about. I know you're talking it's about. It's when it's like a pretty Ricky collective, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah, you don't yeah. have to do as much lifting by yourself. Mm. Yeah. But you can still drop your. What was their tune? All I want is to be with you. Mm. Someone's like, touring at the moment. I was like, that sounds like a mad show. It's a shanty. And she's done like got a couple uh-huh. next people in. And I was like, decent, yeah, that could yeah, go yeah. off yeah. in the UK as well. Um, yeah, so yeah, they, there are ways of doing it. We're mm-hmm. in a bit of a weird period where everything seems probably music more so, where things feel like they're coming back. Not, I say coming back. Mm-hmm. They're resurgence. Resurgence, the resurgence or... being redone. Like things. There's not that there's no originality, but the things that we used to like. Let's take Ashanti for example. Mm-hmm. She's obviously someone from back then, but now it's like she's coming back. End dubs coming back. I think the Lovers and Friends. Um, that was this weekend. I think Vegas. last weekend. Yeah, I think that had a few older artists yeah. on it. Um, like mu- sampling in music as mm-hmm. well mm-hmm. is a lot of. But I think the sampling thing with time, when people like sample Marvin Gaye from then, mm. like. Ashanti, and I'm thinking of... Um, I get what you're saying. H in particular. <laughs> uh, with Ashanti, like the time has passed, passed long it. enough oh, yeah, for yeah, you yeah. to go that back mm. that far mm-hmm. to get her song. We're like in a new decade of sampling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Like films like being redone mm. again. Mm. Like it seems a lot of like things are like being repeated or coming so There's a rehash. Do you know what or, it is though? It's because people don't take risks. Don't want to take risks. It's, mm, just, it's yeah. the safe. It's oh, what, that's Top, Top Gun 2. Yeah. Top Gun, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I don't think I'm gonna watch Tom that. Is back Top Gun Number One is amazing film. You know? I've Good film. Never, I've actually never seen big it. film, but I actually never seen it. I don't know, man. I like. I want new ideas. Like, I'm not gonna lie. I'm sick of this shit. I might go Top Gun Two because um, my man Lawrence is in there from Insecure. Oh, is he? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. Jay Ellis um, saying still Team Lawrence. Still yeah. Lawrence have yeah. yeah. Lawrence <laughs> have that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> still Lawrence have. <laughs> Um, but yeah, you are you are right because I remember like in the nineties or so, like hip hop was doing it, and my dad would be like, "Oh, this is a sample from yeah, 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 and that. And yeah." I'm like, what? what do you mean? And now yeah, we're, you're, you're not really taking yeah, it in yeah, like whatever. It's a good tune. Talking, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, hearing like Ashanti Baby be sampled, I'm just like, okay. And then like, what was it Flowers? Did is it RD? RD, I think. Yeah, that was cheap. Yeah, um, but that's where we are. Yeah, you know, yeah. Um, I'll bring you flowers. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. thought it was that tune. Yeah. Um, yeah, not not for me that one. Mm. You just got to do it well, man. Yeah, I think that's it. it. Yeah, yeah. got to do it well. Uh, what else was on the uh, agenda? Um, um, first gay footballer, public not, not oh, first yeah. gay, but um, I've forgotten his name now. Uh, young guy plays for Blackpool. Yeah, um, yeah, totally forgotten his name. Um, but was big news, man. I see like. All of the um, different 
football teams on their own like social media channels, bigging him up. I see Jake Daniels. Yes. Yes. Um, was he seventeen? Young man. Um, Klopp bigging him up. Um, loads of different like sports publications as well. Um, it's been a long time coming, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Who was? I guess it was. I, I was going to say the first. I don't know if it was. The, it probably wasn't the first. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, John Fashion, you Justin, kind of, Fashion, yeah. Justin Fashion. sorry, yeah, not yeah, John. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's um, like thirty plus years ago. I remember yeah, yeah. being young, hearing about mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. And um, I think yeah, John Fashion who probably has some regrets uh, about the way he kind of treated him, with, mm, him. Mm. Um, or yeah, didn't like help him at mm. all. Um, but yeah, it's been a long time coming. Um, I think there was a player, I think Hitzelsberger used to play for Aston Villa, came out after he retired. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. And I think there's a player in Australia, or like the only like active player, mm, so yeah, him yeah. and this, uh, was his name Jack Daniels? Yeah. <laughs> That's a decent name. Sorry, Jake. Jake. Jake Daniels. We've got all, we'll, <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll just get wrong, yeah. We'll fuck you up today. <laughs> yeah, Hitz was like, so I was reading um, uh-huh. about Jake Daniels. Um and they mentioned a few names and Hitzberger came up and I was like, I know the name. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But I was thinking, oh, maybe it's like a different... Uh, yeah, so then yeah, when yeah, I like yeah, researched yeah. and uh, um, the picture came up, I was like, oh, wow, I had no idea mm-hmm. that he um, he was gay. Um, but yeah, well done to, to Jake for coming out and doing that. Um, I think it's... I think in sport in general, I guess, <clears throat> but football probably more so. Mm. Um. Yeah, it's, I think it's good that he is com- He's been comfortable in doing it, mm. um, and the support. Um, and I think it's I say it's about time that it's widely recognised that there are gay footballers. Mm. Um, I think you don't you don't really you obviously not that you need to think about it, but you don't really think about it. Um. But until someone comes out and says you think, and you think, would take the Premier League, for example, mm-hmm. the amount of teams, the number of players within the squad, yeah. in the team, in a club. Just of a numbers game. Just a yeah. numbers game, you think mm-hmm. it's more than likely mm. there are gay players. Um, but obviously everyone does things in their, in their own time and when they're comfortable. But yeah, big up, big up Jake for that, man. Yes, yeah. Um, some people are like cynics were like, oh, he's going to get all of the brand deals and yada, so yada. It's not a bad time too. Yeah. Honestly. I think it's a, a sign of the times. Mm. Um, I do think, yeah, it's mad. Like, imagine these players that are gay. Still in the closet. And uh, yeah, you're not, you actually can't be yourself. That's what, mm. like, yeah. regardless yeah, yeah. of whatever it is, mm. um, that's kind of mad. Um, you're just like lying to yourself, mm. Um, mm. which is deep, I think. Um but yeah, we'll see, man. Hopefully it sets people free and lets people live live their lives. Um, but I think football's got a long way to go. Yeah, um, definitely. But I think, yeah, with things like this, this is probably how you, you get change. Um, and yeah, when I say football's got a long way to go, I think seeing the Patrick Vieira thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, you don't see it live? No, I didn't see it live, no. no. me neither. Um, I saw it kind of after the clip started circulating. I was just thinking like pitch invasions... It's just like such like peer pressure and people following things that they think are like right, like shouting at a manager is like mm. the done thing. Like it's, you're actually just being dumb. Like it's just but it's so much is shit. like celebrated in football, which is just stupid. Like mm. like even I think with the North London derby what was uh, two weeks ago now maybe or a week ago. Oh yeah, would have been last Thursday. Uh, one of my friends, was Arsenal fan, season ticket holder for all his life, um, was go into the game mm. and he's like had to plan how he's going to get there he's like I'm not wearing no colours just going to wear black keep my head down get in get straight out because like you might get attacked mm. I'm just thinking bro like this is actually dumb yeah, yeah. so dumb yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like it's actually it's ridiculous mob mentality isn't it it's mm-hmm. like I don't know it seems to like particularly in like in football you're able to like keep your kind of like caveman yeah, shit. yeah I feel yeah, like yeah. this even with the uh, gay footballer this is mm-hmm let's say current attitudes kind of weaving their way into it. Yeah. But bottom line, people are just unhappy with their lives. It's bad. Dumb. Like to go out and just want to fight, man, because yeah. man don't support the same team. See, I see a clip. Like it's so day. mad. <laughs> like, I think a player went to go like, t- 
take get the ball for like a throw on. Mm. Oh, okay. I think the obviously near the away fans mm-hmm. and they were giving him like giving him like shit. Mm. <laughs> There's like this like older woman. Mm. She's like Lee, like shouting Lee. Oh, she, like, she, she slaps him on a bum. Um, <laughs> it's that was the I same same that. game as Everton fan. Oh, was it? Oh, yeah. Um, as it Joachim Anderson who plays for Crystal Palace centre back. And it's just like, like she just what like she got mad and then like she slaps him like it's a soft slap. Uh huh. But she like she hits like she makes contact and it's what, like, how does he respond? Is he just like? Uh, do I don't you, think he. I don't, I don't think, think he reacts. I think he's kind of tussling with the ball. Yeah. Deli Ali, I think. But then it's like, but then you think like, like you look at her and you think, what's possessing yeah. you right now? <laughs> yeah. To one behave this way, behaving this way, mm. fine emotion, all of that. I I can understand that to an extent, but then to think it's cool to like hit him if we're calling it yeah. what it is mm. like so if he turned around and and hit you back mm. yeah yeah now, now we've got yeah, now yeah, we've yeah, got now, a, a problem. now we've got yeah. a case so with the Patrick Vieira thing I looked at it and I thought first thing that came to my head was Anderson Silva oh, I, said that, <laughs> <laughs> I said that he, he he's shin. Shin. tall he's long he's shin, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said that kick spider, was crazy you know. he dropped my mama went down kind of easy <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. sweeped in two foot um that was the first thing I thought. Second thing I thought was, ah, oh, Vieira White. Mm. But then I, I kept watching it, and then I thought, I'm not even, I'm not. My, and I think I said this with uh, the Will Smith and Chris Rock thing. I said, if you do certain things mm-hmm. or behave in a certain way mm-hmm. or whatever it might be, and I'm not really a fan of it, if you antagonize, like, don't let's not be surprised. If I lash react. out in a particular way. Yeah. Mm. I wonder if people who uh, said uh, Will Smith shouldn't have done that are going to say to uh, Vieira, no. he should have shown more restraint. No. Mm. No. He was just taunting you. Mm. Because we're, and I, I, obviously I don't know if this has always been a thing, but it feels like it's more prevalent now and that we're living in a time where the general man and woman feel like they can just do whatever mm-hmm. they want. The Bro, levels and the standards of It's the internet, fam. Yes, internet is bleeding yeah, into you, real life. He's running up to man with the camera phone. Chatting shit. Chatting he, shit. Yeah, I can't believe and that. Then, I, he, and what's time. mad is, so he's been kicked, he's been dropped. Um, some fans have kind of helped Vieira get off, whatever. Um, the next day, the guy's uploaded it. Yeah. Online. Why would you upload getting kicked to the floor? A moment. And to, I guess to... to there to be some consequence, perhaps, Mama, for Vera, I, I, uh, for Vieira. So, yeah, I really hope there's no consequence, man. I hope not. I um, can see there being some, though. That's that is where the issue. Honestly. That's where the issue lies. Because I mean, the issue is the pitch invasion mm-hmm. first and foremost. No, that yeah. should not be happening. No. Like, I, like that even happening is bare unsafe. Mm-hmm. Do you know how it like, keeps happening? As man well. could batter Everything. bare players. Yeah, like yeah, everyone yeah, can yeah, get yeah. mashed. Billy up. Sharp got headbutted. I think. Oh, swear. Um, yeah, just this week. I think the coach on the. Uh, Sheffield United. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, pitch invasion oh, again. United. Uh, yeah, yeah, pitch invasion. I mm-hmm. think. Oh, no, I know. I don't know if, if someone standing on a. Um, yeah, Billy Sharp. Yeah, on the um, touchdown on the side, and <laughs> some guy just runs up to him. It's like bang. He used to play for them as well. That's what's a joke. So. It's like what? It's like. And then Ollie McBurney who plays for Sheffield United. He's, I think, been arrested or could be arrested for. Um, there's been of he's stamping on like one of these guys, pitch invaders, whatever. Bro, um, I and people have tried to draw him out before. Someone's drawn it, drawn him out, recording him walking down the road. He just starts just battered the heat, like. Bro, I just like I'm not again. I said it with Will Smith, like I'm not. And people are gonna say like I, again, like with the Vieira thing, and I'm not sure on what certain people have said. Mm. But like you're saying. The opinion won't be everyone saying, "Oh, Will Smith shouldn't have done that." It was mm-hmm. awful, nah, nah, nah. They're probably not going to say the same thing. No, no. Vieira one does. hasn't had much uh, pushback. No mm. one said Vieira's wrong. Mm. Yeah. But it's uh, to an extent, it's very similar scenario situations. Like don't like if you get don't get close, don't chat shit. Because if I do something, like let's let's make this make sense. Let's understand why this has happened. This is the part I like about it is that again the internet you don't really see like consequence. Mm. No, it's kind of good to see like right if I do this. This could happen in real life on a big yeah. stage, yeah. like um, so. That part I kind of like about it, um, but I, it just it shouldn't be happening. No, no. it shouldn't. Yeah, be happening. the only thing I think, and I, the only part of me that wishes, I wish he didn't react like that because of what they'll do to him. Yeah, potential. That's mm. the only thing mm. for me. Same thing with Will Smith. The 
the only re- I, the only thing reason I wish he didn't react that way is because what they'll do to him, and we're seeing it with Will Smith. I'm way more happy with Vieira's reaction. Well, not even reaction. Yeah. B- with Vieira's action, let's yeah. say, versus yeah, Will. Yeah. Like, I feel like Will clean shouldn't have done that. Yeah, Will lost it. Will yeah, yeah, yeah. But Vieira, I kind of, I get it more. Like, man, he called him bald. Something bald. We sex- found that bald. That sexual, it's sexual harassment. Are you allowed to hit a man now? Let's go, man. Vieira, hire me, man. <laughs> I got you, man. <laughs> Richard Cochran, man. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, football just got a long way to go. And I don't know, maybe it's just getting older, but a lot of things like in football I see, especially like around fandom, it's just bare annoying. It's, it's man of dinosaurs. It's actually dumb. Like, it's bare childish. And uh, to that uh, effect of that woman, sorry. Oh, sorry, back to the point. Mm. Um, like, she'll probably be in her house waxing lyrical or taking the moral high ground on bare different topics. Mm. And but you go to this place and you lose your mind. Mm. Like, get it together, man. It's mob mentality, man. It's Fuck, like there are man. studies that show that like if you're put in a position of power, have you ever what's the name of the fucking experiment? Oh, is there's it There's a film off, there's a film and I think a TV show. Is it like a prison experiment? Yes. Yeah. Stanford prison experiment. Mm-hmm. Um okay. so if you make somebody a prisoner mm-hmm. versus like say it was just us three, a very small experiment. But if we say Les is a um I don't think we could do it with us three actually. <laughs> <laughs> but certain man are um prison guards, mm-hmm. certain man are prisoners, man start moving wild just yeah, literally yeah, because yeah. of the, these positions you've been assigned. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Start saying, oh, no, now you can only come out one hour a day. and that. Well, No one's told you yeah, any of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just start yeah, improvising yeah, yeah. this role. <laughs> it's, yeah, people are mad. Psychology is mad. And that's the only thing that I can say that makes a bit of sense in this situation. Yeah, football, but yeah, football... you gotta be you got to be a bit wiser, man. Football is a very, not barbaric sport, but like the fandom association. The fandom is, is, yeah. I feel like it may be the worst. Like when it, like you yeah. see like American football fans, well, sometimes you see them come over here around Spurs and that. But I never really hear about in other sports of like fans mm. clashing. I see, what do they call it? Is it tailgate parties? Oh, yeah. Uh, sometimes people get yeah, punched yeah, up, but it's yeah. not like... That's a tailgate party sounds like yeah. a dark part of the internet. There was like, actually... No, they're actually, there's just like... There's a they're decent. Doc, I can't remember why what it was, but I think that exact same mm-hmm. thing, I think some... And it's was, in the NFL. Uh, yeah, NFL, NFL fandom. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, he said he's he saying he's coming back from a game. I think his brother might have got killed or someone died from it. Okay. So it's like they take it like mad. Yeah, yeah. It's get, a bit like people do like get punched. Firms having beef, like mm. man waiting in a tunnel. But do you know what? Yeah, like, it might be a bit of a wild thing to say, but that makes in that sport it makes more sense to me. Because it's not. It's genuinely. Bro, you try and mash yeah, man up. Yeah, yeah, into each other, yeah. Yeah. Bro, we kick ball like. Mm. Mm. Yeah. But, it, it, it needs. Yeah. It's weird. It's, it's, it's actually silly when you check it. And uh, people celebrate it. Say, oh, it's how it's always been. Doesn't make it right. Yeah. Yeah. Like, Dumb. It's, it's just dickhead it's logic. Stupid, it's stupid. Um, but yeah, man, that story will unfold. And mm. it's crazy that it come out the same week that Idris Gay, who plays uh, for PSG, he didn't play in um, a game oh, yeah, yeah, where yeah, yeah, PSG yeah. were wearing numbers with the rainbow oh yes yeah yeah yeah, um, yeah. LGBT design LGBT mm, colours yeah, um, yeah rainbow and now I think he's been called to kind of answer to uh, the FA to say why didn't you play Oof, good luck mm. <laughs> not even Richie Cochran can help you in that <laughs> no no <one>. yeah, <laughs> he's standing so, down with that one that's going to be a tricky one um, yeah it's a funny th- that's a funny stance to, mm-hmm. to take. Um, or you could say the flip side is that like... That's his opinion. If you were at you work, mm-hmm. man, we're like, you need to... I mean, we just it happens at work, actually. Yeah. Like, there'll be a... I can't remember what purple represents, but I think it's some day. Um, like, oh, it's this mm-hmm. day where your purple lanyard, uh, lanyard, where the rainbow lanyard, whatever it may be. Mm-hmm. You could just probably opt out of it. Just not wear it, innit? Yeah. And, and yeah. no one would probably yeah, yeah, have yeah. an issue. He has to wear a shirt. Here's his front line. Mm. It's a bit different. It's, t- it's techie, man. And that's your employer, mate. Like, you chose to play for them. Mm. Yeah, that's what your employer wants to do. You might have to seek employment elsewhere. Yeah. Yeah. That's fucked, man. And speaking of Richie Cochran as well, uh, Rebecca Vardy and Rooney. Kelly Wa- Rooney. Wagger for Christie. Wagger for Christie. Anyone been following that? <sighs> I haven't been following it's it. I've just sham- seen bits of it. What is the latest? Or Rebecca Vardy's in big trouble, man. What has she actually done? Because I tried reading the latest article that they had, but it was just talking about Wayne um, basically saying Vardy bottled going on the stand. Um, uh-huh. But I don't actually know the ins and outs like of the beef. So Colleen basically set her up and 
uh, had a a Instagram story whereby she was only let, allowing Rebecca Vardy to see it, I believe. Yeah, she oh, basically okay. seen by one person. Information right. was yeah. leaked. Uh-huh. Um, consistently. Consistently yeah. leaked and she whittled it down. She was like, it's, it's, it's Rebecca Vardy. It's, yeah, it's Rebecca um, Vardy. And yeah, gave her basically, I, I told her one-on-one information and then the stories got out somehow. So oh, she's, okay. she's so narrowed it down. Yeah. Colleen uh, framed or put together a story yeah. whereby I think she crashed a Honda mm. and then this story leaked. And then oh. a story about <laughs> going to find out about the gender or something of the, the next child. Okay, that right, leads. right, right. But then right. I think someone, I don't know how they've uh, managed to gather the information, but there's a screenshot of the stories and it's seen by one. Yeah, so I saw mm. that. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. And the one person is... Uh, Rebecca. That, yeah, Thing must have got... Colleen was surely the only person to think that, right? Uh, so it's probably it's evidence that, yeah. that's probably yeah. like mm-hmm. been, mm-hmm. been leaked, whatever. Um, she was leaking stories, yeah, about um, footballers like Danny Drinkwater, who played with Vardy at oh, Leicester. Yeah. Um, he had like a drink driving thing, and he had two women in the car, and the women were Brock. Um, and that leaked. Mm. But then she was vexed because someone at the police station leaked the story before her. It's okay. mad. And she's basically throwing like her advisor or publicist under the bus now. Um, that's the new angle. Mm. Um, but a mess, man. Rich people just wasting time. And These men are sick in the QCs, head. solicitors, barristers just getting paid, lapping yeah. it up. Sick. I ain't mad at them. It's good work if you can get it in it. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I think certain people like get like attain certain amounts of money and mm-hmm. fame or whatever that the regular day the putting on a wash, the watching a series on Netflix, mm-hmm. the the guy into the book going for a walk, the guy out for dinner and whatever. Mm-hmm. There, it's not enough anymore. No, so not. we need to do some wild shit, mm-hmm. some elaborate shit that, if goes left, we can use money to get out of. Um, and then that obviously leads us into, uh, Elon Gate. Oh God! You know he tweeted that like back in the day, innit? The uh, hashtag he's like if there's ever a scandal oh, around okay, call like, it Elon, Elon, Gate, yeah. Elon Gate like and here we are. I knew my spidey senses were right, man. Something about him. He's yeah, just Dan, Dan, Dan's um yeah. Dan's had a thing a thing for Elon. Uh something just hasn't like added up for yeah, you yeah. for a while. And what is he's been accused of uh, indecent exposure? Yes. Um, and proposition. Proposition, that's yeah, the word I was looking for. I think paid uh, paid off uh, a former employee. Mm. Who he exposed himself to, yeah. and she was trying to get massages or something mm. like that. Um, Fucking hell! Who at the top doesn't have a mad scandal? We've spoken about this a lot, and I think, and I don't want to say it because it's mad. Like, if I ever get any power, mm-hmm. I don't know if it's man meets power equals scandal. Like, that's, that seems to be the the simple yeah, maths. Yeah, yeah. Um, top of my head, Trump. Uh, Bill Gates. Scandals. There is some stuff that I think is going to surface. Trump about him, doesn't have but, scandals. But Bill Gates. Oh, Bill Gates' stuff is kind. It's, but I feel like it's still being suppressed yeah, because yeah, people don't know about it with his links with uh, Epstein. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah but yeah, I still feel like it's not mainstream. Mm. Um. Uh. Yeah. Trump. Trump's got a few. Oh yeah. yeah. Cases. Um. Now we've got Elon, Weinstein. Like the list mm. just goes on. Cosby. Savile. Sable. Cosby, mm. um, Westwood. Prince Andrew, Westwood. It's mad. Like, <laughs> that. There, as we said before, probably, like, there are no good guys, but there are there are bad guys. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. Fucked. yeah. That's a good way of putting it. There are bad guys. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's just like, not disheartening, but it's just like, fuck, like, who out yeah, there I know is you mean. not yeah, just yeah. like, anyone got a clean conscience? Nonce, yeah, yeah. Like, so, so weird, man. Um, but yeah, Elon, I think he said, his play was that um, he's declared himself a Republican. He said that he's effectively declared himself a Republican, uh-huh. and now this is this is a reason. an attack. It's yeah, a smear yeah, campaign. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but he kind of got ahead of it. Yeah, definitely got ahead of it. Uh, That's not the reason why they're coming for you. It's because you. Yeah, it's because what you did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's, but it's the conspiracy yeah. theorist thing, isn't it's it? Like, confused. oh, like he's, he's, he tries to buy Twitter, and then uh-huh. I mean, I feel like a lot of people have or the media have disliked him for a while, but. Um, just an oddball, man. Now he's got more power and then mm-hmm. you see the same. They like, see to try to do it with uh, Rogan not too long ago and stuff. Do you know what I mean? It's like there is a pattern, but this one seems a bit 
there's a bit more meat to these bones. Mm -hmm. Like if there's been a payout and stuff like that, like explain. So you said there was a payout. Yeah, yeah there was yeah, a payout. Yeah. Two hundred fifty grand, I believe. Yeah. Um. So like, there's someone's got some explaining to do, isn't it? So. Yes, man. There's a lesson. Don't ever try buy NBC. Or, or Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> if ever man try to buy NBC, fam, stuff just goes bare weird. <laughs> so yeah, leave the broadcasters alone, man. Yeah, it's mad. But, yeah, but um, that is yeah. not my Twitter owner, man. No Jack. Would you say he's no Jack? Yeah. Oh no, Jack was just cool, <laughs> calm, steady, no problems. The man's been in power for what a month, maybe. He doesn't and actually. Own yeah, Twitter yet. There, no, yeah, he, he doesn't. Yeah, 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 apparently the deal still hasn't been finalized, mm. but um. He's saying, I think he says he wants to um, look into. Oh, he says something about bots. And yeah, he wants else. to get he wants to get rid of a lot of bots. Okay, okay. Um, Elon, man. So yeah, he's he's an odd guy, but strange fruit. Kind of kind of proves some of us right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What are we saying? Anything else? Or are we going to bring in? Nah, ins? man. Got got the bring ins. Got the bring ins. Let's go. I'm bringing this now. Uh, I'll go. My bringing um, is a tune Joe Budden played on his podcast randomly. Mm -hmm. um, I think he was like intro in the pod or whatever. But you know, I was watching it on YouTube, but you know, you can't hear oh, the song yeah, in it. Me, yeah, yeah. So I went to listen to the audio and mm -hmm. got the song. But the song is by Phantogram. Okay. It's off the album called Voices and the tune is called Fall in Love. It's a very old song, but yeah. Cold. Uh, i got to bring in. It is from a guy I think I rate. I think he should be high, more highly rated. Um, that is Avellino. And he released a two-pack EP. Uh, the EP is actually the name of both the tracks. It's Mercedes Coupe and Magic. They're both good tracks, but the the track I'm bringing in is Mercedes Coupe. God, I haven't heard from Avelino for a time. He's good, man. Since since his album, I think. Mm. The guy's mm. good, man. Uh, my bringing this week is from yeah, a UK artist who I've been listening to for a while. Uh, he's released a tape called Street Profit. An artist is Stardom. Uh, shout out to all my rappers that aren't from London. Cause, mm, yeah, uh, I, I saw they, I see they, that pop they, up a few they times. Need the, they need love. Um, very good mixtape. A lot of good features, uh, but the tune I'm going to bring in is called 079. Nice. Cold. Mm. Uh, I haven't got much else to say. Nah, man. Covered, covered a lot today. Covered a lot of ground. Mm. Definitely. That's episode 245. Yeah. It's the Man in Podcast. Keep it locked. Ba -ba -ba. <laughs>